Hey guys, uh, we're here to cast Firebat versus Cypher. I'm Martin Creek, and joining me is Elki. Hey Martin, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you, man? Oh, great, yeah. First time here, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. first time pretty casting cool. and everything. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so we have Firebat versus Cypher. Um, they both are playing the, um, what is it? I think Firebat won the, he won earlier versus me, and he won versus, no, he lost versus Purple, and Cypher lost versus Purple and won versus me as well. So they're playing for the final spot to advance to uh, Friday, I uh, believe. So we're, we're advancing the group. Uh, who was they playing against? Uh, the entire group? Yeah, it was Purple and... Uh, purple, me, Firebat and Cypher. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so that's group A. So they're playing for the f uh, for the second spot. Um, yeah, yeah, they're playing oh for the okay. second spot. Uh, purple made it through completely. Oh. So yeah, they're they're fighting for the last spot. Okay, so we're jumping in game here. Let's see. I just need an invite from Cipher. Ah, we're we're in now, I think, right? Yeah, right. we're in. So oh. Firebat is Vogue against Priest. Yeah, Cipher's Priest. Vogue so is Swiss should be pretty good for Vogue, right? What do you say, sorry? The matchup should be pretty good for Rogue. Yeah, right? yeah, it should be pretty good, depending on what Priest Cypher decided to bring. Okay, I just need to see the opponent's cards. There we go, okay. And we see Firebat's lineup is Mage, Druid, Rogue, and Warrior. But Cypher decided to ban the Druid, so Firebat has Mage, Rogue, and Warrior. Whereas Cypher has Druid, Priest, Paladin, and what is warrior? it? Warrior? warrior? Yeah, yeah. I think Warrior. And Firebat ban the Warrior. Yeah, so the first game, Firebat versus Cypher is Rogue versus Priest. Okay, what do you think about Firebat's hand here? Uh, I think it's pretty good because he has a lot of uh, a lot of zero card cost. I mean, he can get really great tempo, I think. Oh, yeah. He can build that Edwin pretty good as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess yeah, I guess he can make it pretty big, but because it doesn't matter as long as it's five five or more, right? If he has a shadow or death, anyways, yeah, it can true. be like eight eight or five five. Like usually, yeah. you want to make it, you want to make it six six against the BGH, but Priest don't really have BGH, so yeah, true. But it does have kind of, it's kind of a big gamble because if he makes a big Edwin and he just removes it for free, it's kind of sucks, right? Yeah, then he doesn't really have anything else to play. He does have the Astro Drake, which is normally pretty good versus Priest, but we can see that Cypher is playing the Dragon Priest, which is. Somewhat different to like a normal rogue. I mean, priest, sorry. But that's the most popular one nowadays, right? Isn't it? Yeah, dragon priest. Uh, is there are some good priest players who decide uh, to play. Um, normal. Okay, yeah. So the clear and the Edwin. Yeah, and that's some. Uh, that's yeah, like a shadow death, so that sucks. Yeah. Oh man, so sick. This is gonna hurt for five. Never fucking lucky. Yeah, at <laughs> 12 12, man. At 12 12. 12 Come 12 turn three. <laughs> Okay, oh so that's kind of rude. That's kind of rude. <laughs> A little bit of BM from Cipher, <laughs> nice, always nice. Will you go for? Will you go for it? I mean, he doesn't really have any other plays than trying to go for it. Otherwise, he kind of has to wait a few turns to do something. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay, yeah, he goes for the Vicky Hunter. Would you have gone with the? Uh, I don't play much rogue. Would you have gone with the uh, twelve twelve Edwin in that spot? Oh, uh. Honestly, it's like a gamble. I think he felt like he had to, like he has to. I mean, there's not really was a good play, but you can just temp you can you can just wait, I guess. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess you can take the chance. Like, if if you want to play the admin, you might as well play it early and hope for uh, like hope hope for it to stick on the board as yeah. a big minion. Okay, so it's not really over yet. Okay, so Firebat has a clear board, but Cypher does have a lot of minions in his hand. And he decides to go for another Drake to contest the board against Firebat's uh, Acer Drake. What Firebat wants to do now is to draw a Sprint, because he does have the prep in hand already. Hmm. Okay, this is a pretty good play. That's pretty powerful tempo. Yeah, a 7 4 on the board, and he knows that Cypher already played the uh, Shadow or Death, so he probably doesn't have a second one, so this is some trouble for Cypher. Hmm. 
But yeah, then I again, like Dragon Prince is kind of hard to react. Like if you, if you don't have the board, it's kind of like if yeah, it's yeah. kind of weaker because you can't draw your cards. They don't really do anything. Like Valence Chosen and stuff is kind of pointless if you like. Yeah, yeah. You, oh, wow, he, the other one, he drew the other death. What a top deck! Wow. <laughs> and that's kind of bad for Firebird because he actually invested pretty much all of his cards into that board. Uh, yeah. This is what a decent draw, though. Yeah. Going face, he plays. Dragon Priest is the one that's the most played right now, right? They don't play so many control priests anymore. Yeah, except for um, uh, some players who really, really like priests. There aren't a lot of them left, but there's this guy said a lot. He's on my team. He plays a lot of priests, uh, and he doesn't necessarily play a strict Dragon Priest. He he likes more controlling versions of it. Okay, it's definitely not looking good for Firebat here. Probably gonna see the Sierra next yeah, turn from Cypher. Yeah, he something, right? If he doesn't have a sprint, he's gonna be tough to... Yeah, he really needs to sprint now. And even then, he's gonna be behind the turn, Most take a lot of damage. Serious. And you guess if he can sprint, like, the... What? The... The AoE? The oil, the oil and the Blade Flurry. Yeah, that would be good, yeah. Oil and Blade Flurry could, like, probably clear most of it. Yeah. Could probably decide the uh, game as well. Okay, there's a Blade Flurry, not a Sprint, but he has one of the pieces. Okay. So he's just gonna keep going face. I guess it's the right move now. He has to find a way to end this as soon as possible. Yeah, because he doesn't have the resources to reclaim the board anyways, probably. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like the game lasts for a while longer. And Priest has so many more cards. And he does need the um, the oil now or a sprint though. The area is gonna come down, and I wonder if he's gonna clear here. Yeah, he's definitely gonna kill the low feb. Um, and yeah, probably. Yeah, that makes sense. Gets an Emerald Drake. More more problems. Okay, this is good. A Sapwood. Oh, okay, okay. It's not over yet. That is pretty good. Yeah. It's top decks after top decks. Alright, Cypher has to establish a board again. Hmm, he could play the Astro Drake and the Emer Emerald Drake you if he's afraid of another You don't think there was any value stuff. in like, uh, sacrificing the, the Acolyte on the Loteb? Uh, then the acolyte that uh, the oh the dark cultist yeah you could sacrifice the dark cultist and make the and make the dragon king stronger and oh yeah that's it. true that yeah. better probably no yeah 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 that could have been better because it doesn't matter to have the dark cultist and boost Isera. Yeah. she already has twelve life anyway she's never yeah, gonna you're die right. to anything yeah I think you're right that might and have been the better that guy would have been like uh, it was free too so it would be free power it would be free too so it would be yeah, hard yeah. to kill right yeah he would have lived from a dagger at least yeah okay this is not too good I guess he's just gonna go face here and re dagger up probably. Hmm. Kind of a slow game at this point. <laughs> Just Firebat trying to end it. Cypher hanging in by a thread. But it does look like it's in Cypher's uh, favor now. Firebat really needs the uh, sprint. Or, yeah, not even a. Um, oh, what's it called? Oil helps him now. Yeah, he has to get something to turn. Pretty much over. Ouch. Okay, so he can kill his own with the agent. I guess that's what he's gonna do. Or just okay, it's just going face. Okay. I figured it was kill his own. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> Talnos for him. This guy's oh, this actually makes him live one more time. But he does have the Nova in hand. How much damage is that? That's three. Yeah. It's enough, right? That's like sixteen. Sixteen, at least sixteen. Yeah. It's oh 15, oh. Seven, seven. oh, oh yeah, so oh yeah. yeah, he has the yeah. balance and the spell power, of course. Yeah. 17. That's well over lethal. Okay, that's 1 0 to Cypher. Throwing uh, Firebat's Rogue off the table. Alright. So now Cypher has to play with Priest so you can Firebat can just pick up the deck. That yeah, yeah, now Firebat can choose to counter it and. Uh, yeah, what would you pick to counter? He did pick Mage, but he also had a Warrior to pick from. I guess Mage is pretty decent because, yeah. Mage is, I mean, this is a Freeze Mage. Yeah, right? it's a Freeze Mage, yeah. yeah. Firebat is. Freeze Mage against 
Freeze Magic against Priest, do you think Freeze Magic is better than um, that matchup? Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. In yeah, the uh, probably because Priest is too slow and it's like yeah, because you can just keep on freezing the board. Like I if you have the Doomsayer Frost Nova, uh, there's nothing really Priest can do to stop it. Uh, they don't really run silences. They do they run the Shadow Ward for like free or less attack. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah one of it. Uh, some people do, yeah, some people. I saw some guy playing it in uh, Seed Story actually uh, this this year. Uh, I'm not sure if Cypher does. He didn't play it against me. We'll see. Okay, not too bad of a hand from Firebat. Not too bad. It does have a lot of cards. Yeah. It because Priest yeah. is going to be pretty slow and it's like. Also going to be hard for Priest to have like free attack minions unless he boosts them early on yeah, in the game. Yeah, true. He does have the Worm Rest Agent, but it doesn't have a Dragon in hand, so it won't get the value it deserves, but. Could also coin out the Dark Cultist if he wants to uh, take an aggro approach. Which I think he almost has to do. He might just play a 1. Yeah, he might just play it uh, as a 1 4. This is good for Acolyte, though, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess if he knows it's a freeze mage, it doesn't really matter if he's too fortunate or not. Because it's probably. I mean, yeah. it's better, but it's probably gonna. Hmm. Okay, yeah, he does have the Velen, so he can just kill the Acolyte right away. Cone of Cold, that's a card you don't really see a lot in Free Smash. Yeah, wa watching most of the World Championship, and I think not many people played it. Yeah, it's pretty good versus aggro, but in the more slow matchups like this, it's uh, not really, really good, but it works. So you usually run like a uh, two first two first Nova and two Blizzard and one or two Cone of Cold? Uh oh no, n normally you run like two blizzards. Um either you run two blizzards or you run one blizzard and one cone of cold. Um but yeah, there are a lot of different uh, free smitches, I guess. But like the uh the skeleton of the deck looks the uh yeah. looks the same. But normally you you'd want to remove a blizzard for a uh, cone of cold. Some people don't really play it at all. But Firebat is a really good freeze player, uh, freeze mage player. So the damned stand ready. he knows what he's doing. And there's the Blizzard. Yeah, probably gonna ping his own acolyte here. He needs to draw a lot of cards in this matchup. He does have the Freeze and the Doomsayer, which he needs to uh, clear the entire board from the Priest. As we said, we don't really, or I don't really think he runs the Shadowward Pain, but he might. But now he's 8 mana, so it's gonna take a while. Yeah, oh yeah. Like six, he, he, does he has 3 minions, right? Hmm, yeah. Because the Priest is probably not gonna overextend too much because he knows it's coming. Yeah, I exactly. He doesn't wanna put all his minions on board and die yeah. to it. I mean, it's not impossible. We'll see just an Astro Drake being dropped down. and Oh, like, I guess Nova is really good here. Clears the board, heals your minion. Okay, this is actually looking pretty good for Cypher. He's going for the Doomsday though. He probably knows that Cypher won't overextend at this point, so he will just deal with the board now while he can. He does have a good turn 7 as well. He has the Flame Strike. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. He does have the Arcane Intellect to draw some more cards, but I guess he wants to find the Alex Trust as soon as possible. Maybe oh, Emperor, Emperor as well. Yeah, Emperor is probably. Yeah, Emperor is really good. He needs the burst right after um, Alex Strasa, or together with Antonidas, of course. Okay, that's that's science, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. Hmm. So Blackwing Corruptor, that's fine to contest the board with. Healing is never bad versus uh, versus freeze mages. But it doesn't really matter that much because he's just probably gonna wait for extra. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. It, the the only thing is if he plays like a really good Antonidas and draws like a lot of fireballs oh. and decides to go uh, the long way. But he did get 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 the emperor now. So that's really good. Hmm. What to do? Yeah, he's going for the Emperor. Oh, not yet. 
What do you think? Do you think it's worth going for Emperor now or would you wait? I think I would do it now because I mean it's pretty unlikely that I will survive anyways. Even, yeah. if, uh, even if I have a way to like freeze or kill the five four, he probably has one shadow ward left at least. It's like yeah, true. Super unlikely that the emperor can survive at this stage. I think. He even decided to uh, hero power the blackwing corruptor. Why would he do that? Mm, probably because if you if if you hero power face, uh, the heal will heal up to max health anyways, uh. and um, possibly because of blizzard because next time you can blizzard oh and I see uh, what you mean. It, yeah. If he plays a lot of minions, must consider make him think he doesn't have the frame strike, maybe. I guess, but mm, yeah. Oh, that, that's also true. Yeah, a bit of mind games. Okay, so this looks like an okay um, flame strike. You need to get rid of the minions, and that's the best way to do it. Scientist is pretty good too because it's gonna give him a lot of uh, like eight more armor. Right? Yeah, yeah. So and he does want to get rid of the secrets from the deck instead of drawing them. He needs to find that Alex. Hmm. But it is looking really good for Firebat now because he does have the Antonidas. He can freeze the board. Uh, Cipher does have the Shadow Ward Death though. But as long as he can get maybe. Three fireballs, two, three fireballs from uh, the Antonidas, that should be good enough. So, if he does use it for the Antonidas, then he can't really kill the Alex Raza. I guess with the light bomb in his hand. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. He has the light bomb. Hmm. Okay, so is he gonna heal so he or. Yeah, well, what is he considering? Maybe... Okay, he wants to play the Cleric. Is Not too bad, I suppose. Okay, another Arcan Intellect. Draw that Alex. There it is! Okay, so he's now. Oh. yeah, he's gonna stack up fireballs before playing Alex next turn, which is pretty good. You my Man, kill the uh, Drake as well. It's a lot of damage in his hand now. What is it? Twenty-eight total. That's twelve, eighteen from fireballs, ten from pyroblast. Yeah. So if you place the Alex and um yeah, it's gonna be hard for the Chris. He can't, Chris can't really heal, right? Yeah, he doesn't really have any of like light of the Naru or yeah. Uh, the extra heals he has in his deck, I think it's uh, Holy Nova. And he's even gonna yeah. play it now, right before Alex, so not the best spot to play. I mean I guess yeah, I value wise on the board, but doesn't really yeah. matter if he's going to seven nineteen or seventeen. Like if he has if he knows he has like one more burn, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I don't know. It's yeah, yeah, I suppose. Now. Right now, there's not really any way for Cypher to win, I think. Um, he knows that Firebat has at least two Fireballs in hand. And with that many cards, he has eight cards in hand. There must be something else as well. I wonder. So he's probably going to heal up to 17 here this turn. Yeah, it's pretty much right. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So yeah, Free Smidge will actually win this. What? But it's also a favorable matchup. Okay, I Sylvanas. No He's going to kill his own Sylvanas probably and steal the Alex. So he can't, right? Can't. Oh. Yeah, with your... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. With yeah, the I coin. Can, yeah. But two turns is all Firebat is gonna need to do enough damage and that frost like nova. So many he has so many stalled anyway. He could still have like four more turns. For yeah, him. yeah, exactly. With like ice block and two frost nova.
but I guess there's no reason for Cypher to give up yet. He's seen two fireballs. Doesn't know about any extra. And he's gonna decide not to show the Pyroblast. It's a pretty smart move. Since he will play the same um, class again. Don't, don't all the players may play uh, Pyro Pyroblast? Some people choose to play Maligos instead. Oh, uh, Maligos instead of Pyroblast? Yeah, yeah, some people do that. And uh, also some other stuff. Just Antonidas with the extra damage, um, I guess. Okay, so that was Cypher's Priest, I guess. Yeah, so Firebat countered so one one. Cypher's Priest. Yeah, 1-1. One one. So now Firebat is... Uh, Cypher is picking Druid to counter the Mage, right? Pick yeah. Druid Which is a pretty solid pick. It's a counter. Uh, some people do believe it's not really a strong counter anymore. They believe it's... Maybe like a 55% win rate, maybe 55, 60%, but like not too good. But it's probably better than Paladin though. Paladin probably better than Paladin. Paladin yeah. Freeze Mage is a bit. Yeah, that's right. really favorable for um, for the Freeze Mage. So this is Cypher's best shot at at countering Firebat's Freeze Mage. But not the best starting hand there. Oh, he has Innovate next turn, actually. Okay, yeah. Cypher and Innovates. I can just Shade now, I think. Will you just Shade, will you shade or will you Innovate the Druid of the Claw? Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I think Shade is pretty good here. Like, you want to play it before it can get affected by AoE. But then you have to use it before... Uh, there's a Doomsayer as well, but Cypher does have the Keeper of the uh, Grove in his hand, so he can just silence the uh, any potential Doomsayers as well. But yeah, I think Shade is uh, is pretty decent. What do you think? Yeah, Shade is. I probably play Shade, and then you could si uh, Yeah, do you think you you would save the Silence for the uh, for the Doomsayer or Silence Scientist? Hmm. Silence Scientist is pretty good too, because it's probably. Yeah, it's not too bad, but. Now the Firebat plays a secret, he knows that he is going to have secret this, uh, secrets this game, so maybe there's no point in rushing him down. But yeah, I do see uh, it being possible to just silence the Mad Scientist and go really aggro. Okay, so he doesn't really have a lot of options here, it's like either a swipe or a keeper. Hmm. It's a tough decision because silencing a, uh, a mad scientist is always nice to do. But in this particular matchup, it might be yeah, kind of risky. Zero, yeah, it would have been different if he had two keepers in hand. Then you definitely would have uh, silenced it. But then swipe is kind of like not a really, not really good value in this spot either. It's yeah. Like you swipe his, his face. Yeah, use it for damage. That's That's it. Maybe for like the acolytes as well, just to make sure they don't draw a lot. Okay, he's going for a uh, the drill the claw. And it goes down to a fireball right away. Sure, can you hear me better? Okay. So here's a Lothab. Lothab is really, really good versus freeze mages. It gives you this uh, extra turn to just push out damage and attack him with the uh, shade. Better to do is it that good right now, though. I mean, he didn't, have any, he didn't really have any other play. Yeah, he didn't it might really. Be better to save it at a spot where a uh, time where. You yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I, I like saving it, but in this uh, particular. Yeah, it's not like he had anything else to play. Yeah. Like if he had another Druid of the Claw or like Shredder, yeah. probably better to play it. But yeah, for sure. Or like a Drake or something, just like anything else. But he's going for the fast place now and keeping keeping up tempo, hoping that he draws more minions. Okay, so he does want to get that shade down as soon as possible, and he doesn't necessarily have to ping it because I guess he's going to frostbolt it next turn. Oh, another innovate. Not really what he wants. 
you think we're gonna see the swipe to, f to the face here finally yeah, probably it's like i don't know i, w I would guess uh, or maybe one especially because he has two so he can still play on emperor or something with the other one next turn mm. if he's not frozen but Firebat's hand is not that strong either right now, I think, right? But yeah, it's not too strong. Like, he's, uh, he needs, like, a blizzard or something to keep him in the game. He does have the Alex, he does have the Emperor. Like, he, ha he has the uh, pieces he needs to he kill the late game thing, but... Yeah. But, okay, there's a blizzard, so... All of a sudden, the hand became pretty good. Oh, healbot is pretty good as well. Yes, I feel it's like Ancient of Law or something. Too. Yeah. Yeah, an Ancient of Law here would be really good. Oh, another shade. That's a really bad draw, actually. Because when you're up uh, past six uh, mana uh, as a freeze mage, there will be a lot of AoE coming down. Hmm. Or you play the shade anyways? What? Oh. He might not have a choice. Uh, um, I mean, I guess he could. I guess he wants to swipe. They could shade the and swipe and innovate him. And then he'll power the. Yeah, yeah, he could. Yeah. He could. Uh -huh. Ooh. Can he pop him? The ice block? Because that's way better. Yeah, yeah he's gonna do it. This puts Firebat in a pretty bad position. Because now we both has to heal and uh, take care of the board. Okay, silence Emperor, in case the game goes on for much longer. Okay, Frost Nova is pretty good. I mean, he, he really wants to heal here, right? Like, he has to heal. He's dead to swipe, he's dead to another keeper, hero power. For something sure he's dead to me. Yeah, for sure he has to yeah. right? So I guess a heal bot, Frost Nova works, and uh Yeah, you can start you can start stalling, I suppose. It's kinda sad time because next time he can do Alex too, so Yeah, yeah, that's true. If he's like down a bit more. Yeah, but he like he needs to uh he needs to get rid of the board to play the Alex, or at least find another ice block. It's kind of sad he didn't have one more mana because then he could play Antonidas and uh, coin Frost Nova. Okay, so he's not really dead to anything. But then he would still like to swipe and a Force of Nature, right? What did you say? If he plays Antonidas and the Frost yeah. Nova, then. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. He would still like to do yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, silly me. Didn't think of it. <laughs> I just completely ignore the heal. Yeah, you're right. I mean, he could because it's not that likely, but still, you didn't see a force of nature. It's pretty likely, I guess. It's so annoying when you play against the uh, with that spot. They're like always kind of like two cards in their hand and do 14 damage. Like so. yeah, yeah. And you and you go down to 14 health really fast versus druids as well because of their starts and stuff. So yeah. Druid is really, really strong. He doesn't really have any option though now, it's pretty... Yeah, you can't really pretty do bad, uh, Pretty bad hand, pretty bad draw the wild growth in that, spot, in that stage of the game, it's kind of useless actually. Yeah. Okay, he's just gonna decide to kill the uh, Emperor and pass. This is the most annoying thing about playing versus a uh, Freeze Mage, when they just lock down your board and you can't really do anything. Just wait. Oh, that's a good draw. Fits well with the blizzard. Hmm, what will he do with the board though? He could actually almost clear. He could ice land something and kill with the uh, heal bot, but he's just gonna push for damage. Could have killed the shade with the heal bot, yeah. Yeah. I think I would have killed the shade with the heal bot, but. Could use an ice lance as well. Yeah. On Probably the low side. Yeah. yeah. Oh rag. Wow, that's a that's an awesome draw. Hmm. 
Oh, Mad Scientist. Also really nice. It's not the Ice Block. Rag is one of those cards that's really good versus Freeze Mage, so... Cypher really brought this Druid with the intention to beat Freeze Mage. Just one of those sticky cards that you can't get rid of, and it actually does something while being frozen as well. Yeah, and it, does, it goes past the Ice Barrier too, so it's pretty... Yeah, exactly. They do play one BGH, you know? The Freeze Mage, they don't play one... No, they don't play any big amount, just no. No pretty much no big amount there. No, there's some um um like the Echo Mage or like a different freeze mage plays um Polymorph. It's more like an Echo Mage though, or a control mage. But Freeze Mage specifically, uh no. Don't really play. Okay, so he kills his own mad scientist to get that ice block. So not really anything Cypher can do here, but to but, but I to break him. Uh, I guess he needs to dump deck a frostbolt or something for the extra damage, right? Yeah, yeah. He needs a frostbolt. What else can he get? Nothing really, right? He needs the frostbolt. He used one ice lance already. Yeah, he used or did he? I guess he could get frostbolt or ice lance. Mm. Probably that's it. Yeah. All I don't think we saw blood mage. Uh, blood mage shouldn't be enough if he if he he overpowers. I think he played one though. Was that the last game? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, um, might have been the last game. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, Blood Mage. Uh, Blood Mage doesn't do it either if he hero powers. Yeah, yeah, he's probably gonna hero power, I think. Yeah. It's not like he's gonna matter one more shade or like. Yeah, every health counts now. Okay, so we proc him using the. Uh, so the yeah. Yeah. Oh, Just gonna push the board as well. By a moment of truth. Oh. Can he do anything? I can hit himself to 15, I guess. Because then, like. Does that help? Yeah, because of the. Yeah, because uh, Rag is not hard, but. Because he has to clear, yeah. right? Because it's an ice barrier as well. True, true. And he has to, like. Either pump the barrier or. So it's gonna. And he has to kill the Alex as well. Yeah, he probably has to kill the Alex. I don't know if he yeah. wants to pop the barrier in this spot. If he has one more Savage Roar and Force of Nature, he might want to pop it, I don't know. Yeah, he knows that this is a last resort from Firebat, healing himself. He doesn't have lethal, so... I guess he can just let the rag uh, keep shooting <laughs> and keep like killing the Alex. That should be fine, right? Let's see, he has 15 health. Ah, a frostbolt. Well, yeah, a frostbolt would be lethal. Yeah, not not on its own, but with the ice lance, it would have been right. Yeah. And now it's not zero anymore. So I guess he's get kind of guaranteed to. I don't know. Really, could say he's gonna. That's pretty tough spot for for Cypher too now, because if he silences the Doomsayer, he can't really clear the Alexstrasza, and he's just. Yeah, this is actually really tough. He, I think he has to go for a 50-50 here to kill the Alex with the rag. Or is there any other way? Oh, you know what he can but do? He needs to kill the, yeah, he needs to kill the Doomsayer before, right? right? Yeah, and he can do that by... Uh, he can silence his own oh load up, yeah, and kill it. Yeah, but then he dies if, uh, if rag misses. Yeah, he does. So it is a 50-50. Is there any other way out? You could let the... Uh, the Doomsayer take the board, but you don't really want that. Oh, well, you can, like, it's better, it's probably better to uh, silence no tab and, and clear Alex and then hope that Rag uh, hits Doomsayer. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. if Rag doesn't hit Doomsayer, then he can be alive, I guess. Yeah, for sure. It's a pretty sick coin flip now. And the Shredder, just in case things go wrong and you need, need that minion. Oh, I, should I would have played it probably because. I think it's gonna play it. Uh, I don't know, is it? Yep, ah. there it is. 50-50. Oh. Uh, I'm never <laughs> lucky. Ouch. Does he have any card that could help him out here? Probably. Hmm. I don't think so, right? He has Frost Nova. 
You should have a first level or something, right? I mean, it's still gonna hurt, but... Okay, yeah, this is, uh... How much damage is this? It's not enough. Um. Yeah, it's not oh. enough to... Uh, now it's enough. Now it's enough, yeah. I mean, even if he wasn't enough, then she has, like, one more armor. Uh, yeah. If I buy a five life, it's like... Uh, I mean, if the Typhoon gets to five, and then, like... It's hard for Fireblast to do anything. Just yeah. Pyroblast, I guess. Yeah, Pyroblast would be the only out at that point. I think some of the fireballs were made by um, um, Antonidas. I don't know if he had an extra. Oh, oh there is the Pyroblast as well. Wow. Uh, so that force of nature sick. actually saved him. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty sick. Mean, without that, he <laughs> would have won. <laughs> so <Yeah>. close. Wow. <laughs> okay. So that's a um, that's a two-one for Cipher, right? Yeah. That's so brutal. Wait. Yeah, because he knew he was gonna win next turn too. He didn't. He didn't have like the yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he, he was gonna like die before knowing before <laughs> knowing which card is gonna draw. And I was like, yeah. fuck, one turn, one turn away. Uh. The guy didn't top deck the force of nature. I was top decking Pyroblast. <laughs> <laughs> that's something you don't want to see while yeah. losing a game. <laughs> that was really really close though. For like a yeah, for like yeah. a deck that's supposed to be kind of more contrarian face mage, it was pretty close yeah. game. It came down to like really like yeah, it was a good game. Deck, last it was a really good last game. Two cards. It was yeah. Okay, so we have Firebat's last deck here, which is Warrior <laughs> versus yeah. Cypher's. And it was really game. close when the Rag hit, he kind of won the coin flip. Oh, yeah. And then, and then uh, well if he didn't win the flip, it was probably over. That Rag has been working uh, wonders for Cypher this tournament. It actually won versus me as well earlier. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't like that card. Cypher. Yeah, I remember like. Like last year, everybody was playing Rag, and then uh, after that, nobody was playing it anymore, and now everybody yeah. plays it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, now it's uh, it's like a meta of a lot of freeze mages now. So, yeah. uh, Rag is really good versus that. So yeah, that's really. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's good against most of the control decks too, I guess. Yeah. Like, I guess a lot of the. I guess Warrior should be pretty good too. Yeah, Warrior nowadays are good versus uh, Druids just because of like the Darnassus Aspirants. Uh, it's a setback for Druids because of Warriors, Fiery War Axe. Uh, they have Bash now and stuff. like They can deal with Druids uh, easier now. But Cypher did have the wild growth on turn two. Do you think Warrior is favored against Druid? Uh, right now, mm, I don't know. Like it, It's kind of hard to say right now, at least for me. I mean, Cypher does have some aggro like stuff. Like the Phaeton Warrior of like Thais and Oskaka, they were yeah. like they were doing really great at the at the WCS actually. They were crushing. Like yeah, yeah. They were crushing the Druids. With yeah. The, with a Phaeton Warrior. Yeah, Phaeton versus Druid. It is seems uh, like Phaeton Warrior is actually stronger than Control Warrior against Druid. Yeah, for sure. Because then sure, if you man. get like four Patrons, it's like fuck. It's really yeah, hard. yeah. It's you can't really, really do anything yeah. against it. Yeah. Like swipe doesn't help. One wrath doesn't help. Oh, okay. Slam and kill. Shredder drops. Oh, well, that's nice. Firebat likes that. Okay, this is actually pretty nice for Firebat because at turn six he can drop the Justicar True True Heart, um, and even somewhat take care of the board. I wonder if he's gonna do it though. Will you drop the Justicar here or the Shield Maiden? Hmm. What would you do? I think I would do Shield Maiden, because I'm probably not planning on hero powering next turn. I mean, yeah. depending. Yeah, because you kind of want the... Oh, Sylvanas oh. is also pretty good, because you've seen the silence already. And uh, it can test the board really nicely. Works really well with Brawl as well, if you would need it. Yeah, oh. Sylvanas is probably the best. Yeah, it also stops the uh, turn 8 Ragnaros, which we see that Cypher has, but... Firebat knows he plays a Rag, but... Not that he has it, of course. Hmm. Taking his time here. Is there something he can do? Yes, he could coin and play combo if he really wanted to push damage early. That would be a lot of damage. Yeah, he could do that, but then it's kind of. Yeah, it's kind of bad, yeah. Uh, oh, he's doing do it. it. He's doing it. Because you have to expect the warrior to have a lot of uh, yeah. stuff. So then it's this is just like going all in. I don't know, I like it in a way because it's so much damage. But I'm not sure it's the ra Oh, he's gonna is he gonna kill it? Oh he's he's gonna hope for it to steal one of the uh oh the treants. Yeah, that's that's really that, that's a really nice play. 
Never oh. lucky. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> never oh, lucky. That's so <laughs> never <sick> lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the worst. Oh. Even if you see the down SS, it's not so bad. Oh, it's pretty terrible. Yeah. Yeah. So brutal. Wow. Okay, here comes the shield maiden. Now he has a pretty decent board. It's nice. That's so crazy. He has the uh, he has a weapon. He has a five five and a shredder, which he stole. And yeah, it's it's doing it's looking really good for Firebat right now. Who is down one two to Cipher? And the like the last game is a uh, what's Warrior against Paladin match? What do you think? What do you think is a uh, favored oh, Warrior? It, it uh, yeah, it somewhat de warrior. It depends on the Paladin, I guess. Yeah, if a Paladin, if, like if a secret Paladin has it, like the perfect curve, uh, it's really hard to. Uh, Even to mid range beat. can be kind of hard, no? Mid range Paladin. Yeah, yeah, mi mid range can be uh, kind of hard. Yeah, you're right. But I, I have no idea what Cipher plays, uh, like what kind of Paladin he plays. But I guess we'll see. Oh, he didn't play it against you. Yeah, but he, uh, I banned his Paladin. Oh. Yeah, so I played his uh, his other decks. Okay, just the car comes down. That's probably a good time to uh, play it, actually. Yeah, it's been pretty tough for uh, for Cypher to get back in the game, I think. Now. Yeah, there's not really much you can do here. I yeah. mean, dropping the rag. It it's so sad when you have like four cards and they're all kind of <laughs> they're all kind of weak because you cause your opponent's board is like no. So there's yeah, no yeah. There's no play that looks good. <laughs> like rag doesn't really affect the board that nicely, but it's, it's against the control warriors. It's obviously going to get removed right away. The force doesn't really do anything. Uh, I guess it can clear, but yeah. But then it's like way behind in cards. Yeah. Anyways, so it's like even if he clears, like Firebat's going to play something, and then it's like yeah. And the sludge doesn't do much either because it can just be cleared right away as well. And uh, yeah. It's looking pretty good for Cypher, uh, I mean, Firebat. I think he's gonna clear. So he does go for the Force clear. This means that he doesn't have any combo anymore. He's used two Force of Natures now, and one Saboteur. So he has to win this with big minions. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, I mean, Firebat has a Brawl, he has a big game hunter. He has four weapons. And... Yeah, uh, it's probably dead next turn, I guess, because he's gonna have the Gormashan. Even if he removes the uh, Alex with the big hunter, it's Gormashan. Yeah, it's gonna be 15 it's damage, right. though. Um, so he's gonna live by a thread. So yeah, yeah, we're gonna s we're gonna see the big game here. Probably a hero power and actually maybe a Taurus and no, okay, it's gonna be a Sludge and hero power. I think he's considering it though. Doesn't really help him a lot because you, you still can't play the sludge and rag next turn. Um, right, he's going for it. But then again, he probably knows that he's not dead to Gromash right now. Yeah. Oh, that's close though. Oh, but he can't play both, right? Yeah, he can't. It would have been lethal if he could play both. So maybe it's just going for it and uh Yeah, I should go for it, because he has so much damage yeah. next turn anyways. He has, so many he has like three weapons in his hand, yeah. a lot of damage. Like if he like uh swing his weapon every every turn, there's no way the druid is gonna yeah, yeah. is gonna stop that. If he can remove the Gromash, which is already pretty hard. Yeah. He has to he has to use both his big game hunter and the um uh druid of the claw now in charge mode. Yeah, and then he has to taunt the Belcher yeah. in order to die next turn. Yeah. And even then, he's probably going to die in a few turns. So yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's like fighting so hard to survive when he's kind of almost going dead. Maybe. Yeah, he's playing. Yeah. He's like actually playing. Uh, yeah, he's like. He's not the guy in charge anymore, which Druid normally is. Like, Warriors, the guy who's supposed to clear the board and uh, slow the game. But that Sylvanas really took over the game for Firebat. Uh -oh. oh, okay. Well, this is probably a better... Actually... Okay, he can bash... Okay, that's lethal. Uh, that's yeah. lethal but, but that was probably better anyways, I guess. Yeah, I think so. If he wanted to win the game, he had to, he had to do something. Okay. So Warrior wins versus 
drew it. 2-2. Two, two. Seen that too many times lately. That means we're going to have Cypher's Paladin versus Firebat's Warrior. And yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah, it was a pretty exciting game too. I think the Shredder, like when he kind of gambled and killed Sylvanas with the Force of Nature, yeah, yeah. it was kind of like... Yeah, that kind of sealed the game. Yeah, and then point. like when the warrior was like, he had like such a strong board that he would kinda it was kind of like yeah, yeah. impossible for him to come back. All right, so jumping into the last game here, the deciding game of who gets to advance until oh for top 16. So Cypher is playing Paladin versus Firebats Warrior. We can see a revenge in here. Revenge? Ah, that's different but <laughs> looking at uh, Cypher's hand that's a pretty good hand pretty good start because Firepad decides to keep the revenge probably for muster a battle I suppose what do you think uh, yeah must have a barrel and even then if you like low life and you must have a barrel quartermaster it's good to yeah a minion, I mean. yeah absolutely yeah okay so it feels like muster and uh and uh, the competitive spirit is kind of hard to clear too, too. Oh, that's like true. For, for warrior, so he kind of wants to like kill them before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have gone on in with the Force of Avengers Savage Roll last game when he had like the Sylvanas on board. I, oh, you mean in just in for push Cypher damage? Spot, in Cypher spot, would you have like play both to go in, or would you have just played differently, or just like? I think I would have. Uh, honestly, I don't think I would have seen that play that he did. I would have probably just pushed face and like try to end the game really early. What about you? Would you have pushed for damage yeah, or probably phase? Probably yeah. phase and hope I get lucky with Ragnaros next turn. <laughs> <laughs> you can Rag next turn, right? And he's like, he's gonna if he clears like one of the minions with Sylvanas. Yeah. I mean, Sylvanas is uh, was five five and there was like a Shredder and. Uh, and yeah, he wouldn't have proc so the Sylvanas anyways. Uh, yeah, he can't really proc it, and then if he wants to clear, it, he has to use his weapon too and get damage. So you yeah. can hope to get lucky with Rag. Yeah, phase is the place, you know. It's just smork uh, all day. I mean, sometimes you kind of feel like game is not in a good spot like you yeah. have like so many options in his hand like that could like give him so much value or like yeah, yeah. advantage later on turn so you can have to gamble yeah sometimes you have to take the risks for a high reward yeah that's why I'm doing a lot more now because before I try to play two cautious and like play around cards but sometimes you know like they have it like you can't do anything anyway so yeah. it's like <laughs> or like if, if the game is like in a bad spot already you can have to gamble yeah. more and hope that he doesn't have those cards that will counter you because then you're probably dead anyways yeah, more face for the people. That's how you do it. More risks, more rewards. Yeah, actually, it's a uh, it's one of the spots that's pretty hard in Hearthstone, and that's kind of similar to poker to know when you should like gamble up more and take more risks with oh. your with your playing style, and uh, as opposed to like where you can like play really tight and wait for a better opportunity to use your cards. Like if you're like way ahead in the game, you can play really tight and heal power and heal and not really like yeah. take risk. But when you know like you were like borderline behind, and then it's gonna get worse. When the game goes on, especially against Control Warrior, you should definitely like yeah. take more risks and like. Because sometimes you're like, oh fuck, if he has board, you might that might be fucked. But then like, if yeah, you wait like, three more turns, you might be. If you don't play those minions and you don't like push for damage, you might be fucked anyways in three turns. So yeah. just like, I mean, then you're gonna be playing from behind all the time and you won't do any damage at all. And that's what the warrior wants, right? Yeah. Okay, but, but it's still it's still really hard to find exactly the spots where you need to like. Yeah, for sure. Take more risk or like go for phase or. Pretty strong start from the Paladin now, though. Yeah, it's a like he does have the board. Firebat has a lot of high cost minions, but uh, that's good. That would be pretty good next turn. Though. Yeah, yeah. If he okay, yeah, he he can clear the board now and heal up again. So this is a really good get on turn. Cipher does play an equality, so uh, oh, he doesn't. Oh, he's playing yeah, the mid equality. Paladin actually that we talked about. He doesn't play a secret Paladin. Oh yeah. Well, he probably is BGH here, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You could even cog hammer it as well. Stop it from dying to a weapon. Hmm. Okay, he's gonna oh hero I power. Don't Actually, hero powering right. in this matchup is really good because if you just push out tokens, like I guess you want to win this game matchup by as much value as possible. I think I would have I would have a uh, coin the cog hammer too. I think. Yeah, I, th I think I would have done the, uh, done it's the same. It's kind of hard to clear if it's Divine Shield. Yeah, I mean, saving the um, saving the coin, I don't know. I mean, 
Your probably turn saving, eight. He's probably saving the cook hammer, right? Because he wants to cook hammer something bigger. Like yeah, yeah, I guess. A shredder or like a shredder mm. is not that much bigger, like Cheyun back maybe. But. Hmm. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. Like what do you think? What do you think is is saving the cog hammer for? I don't know. Maybe he figured he could do it on. Actually, he might be thinking like, "Oh, turn eight. I'm gonna play Tyrion. And if Tyrion dies, I'm gonna waste well, my cog hammer by being replaced by Ashbringer, or something like that. Or I maybe for like. Hammer equality here. That's pretty good. I think. Oh, so he goes for it. Okay, he's going for cog hammer now. Okay, so equality. Should equality and. Yeah. Trade. Okay, that's a good bug, Boombot. That's what you want. For duty. Hmm, he's gonna kill it or ignore it? Yeah, he kills it. That way you dictate. Oh, that's pretty... Uh, oh. Way the end of the Playing the uh, Ysera right after equality. It's pretty nice. This is, I think... Yeah, that was a really good bait. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. The Sylvanas is gonna get a lot of cards. Uh, that's kinda weird that he saved the coin for so long, too. I don't know. Yeah. And now it gains an extra hero power. I wasn't paying that much attention to the first ones, I guess. But I usually try to sa use the coin kind of earlier. Yeah. Oh, this is actually pretty good. He could, um... He could revenge, slam the uh, Tyrion, and kill it. Okay, maybe play. Uh, oh, he's gonna execute it actually. Yeah. yeah if you execute it, then it's safe. It's very safe from the. Yeah. From the Ashbringer. Yeah. Seems like true, true. I'm back in a really good spot now. Yeah, he really is. Already getting two card value from his era is really, really nice. Oh, a nightmare. Yeah, he gets a lot of value from Isera and he has a really strong board and and Cypher already used uh, both Equality and Big Game Hunter and he probably runs only one of them. Yeah, yeah. Do you think he only runs one Equality or what did he say? Probably one only, I don't know. Yeah. Mm. If he plays two, maybe he wants to fish for it using uh, Lay on Hands. What else do you want to do? I mean, he does have the, um, the Aldor, yeah, the Peacekeeper. Huh. Knife juggler Aldor Argus, is that his plan? Yeah. Problem is, like, Isera is just getting so many cards to fire, but that if the yeah. game lasts on, he's gonna have like pretty strong cards. He already lost a lot of value now. Uh, or like, I think he he's about to realize that he can't really win the uh, the value game, so uh, he might just be it. pushing for face now with the Ashbringer. He My gets 50 total damage, so. Yeah, probably. That's a really good draw from a uh, firebat though. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I see a play. No. Did he have the nightmare earlier? Um. He he got it last turn, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind then. I was thinking because you, you can use Sylvanas, you can nightmare this the Sylvanas and play big game hunter. Imagine having that for oh. Tyrion to steal it. <laughs> oh yeah, sick. Yeah, you can do that. That would be a really sick player. But then if she dies, when does she dies? It's the beginning of your turn though, no? No, but, but because you can nightmare it and then you can big game hunter oh, it yeah, the yeah, same yeah. turn. Yeah. That would have been really fun to see. Doesn't really happen that often, which is sad. Those kind of plays are the best. Yeah, I don't think he had it though. No, he but didn't. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he didn't. Uh, it would have been fun though, mm. just like saving it or something. But that was definitely the uh, right play to do. Just boosting up the Drake. I mean, you can do here. Probably have to lay on hand and lay on hand and go face. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. He can't play the zombie child mm. because he wants to race down his opponent now. What kind of cards can you look for? 
I don't know, and inequality would be Come nice, zero. actually. Oh, a consecration. Oh, you know what? Yeah, double consecration is pretty good. Shit part is pretty good too. Yeah. If Firebat doesn't play the, um, the Sludge Punch next turn... He will die. Right? Yeah, he will. But I guess he's going to, right? Yeah. Even if he does play, it's pretty close, actually. Yeah, wh what can he hope to draw? I mean, if Cypher plays another equality and draws it, then he's going to win, I think, next turn. Because then he can equality, uh, consecration, consecration, and slam face. So we'll see. Wonder if he has it. That would be amazing if he drew it now. Oh, he's hoping. I think he has. Like, I think he has it because. Look at his face. Like he's he's actually hoping for him to draw it. So he has an owl. Yeah, silence too. Sometimes oh. he have an owl, right? He must have an owl, right? Oh yeah, an owl. Yeah, an yeah. Owl. That's true. So maybe an equality or an owl. I guess that's the uh, the two cards. But an owl makes more sense. Yeah. Uh, is black there anyway? Knight. They should play the Black Knight. They don't never play the Black Knight anymore. What happened to this guy? Yeah, nobody does that anymore. <laughs> That'd be sick if you could have a black knight right here. Yeah, <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> it's actually not bad, right? I mean, in some spot, if the meta is a lot of control oriented, it's pretty good because they're always yeah. minion to kill. It's like always pretty good value. Yeah, and if people are bringing uh, like the mid range paladin back to last year's standing, then it should then it should be really good because then you have a counter to Tyrion yeah. just like straight out. Sludge, and like sometimes like the Dweed they play the Enchant of War. Yeah, it's yeah. Like sick. When you play Enchant of War and you got Black Knight, it's just Yeah, bad. that's some <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you go like come on <laughs> a lot of spots like you like hmm? what is Yeah, it? it's good in lots of lots of spots I think. But yeah, now yeah. I guess the legs are kinda faster. So but even like yeah. against Dragon Priest is pretty good because they have a lot of taunts. Oh look at this. I think he found Lethal with a nightmare. Yep. Oh, That's lethal. Right. He's doing yeah, the... 16. Yeah. Even if Sierra Awakens, 17. Dream would have been lethal. So yeah. That's gonna uh, end it. Firebird wins. That was a really close series. Like yeah, a really, really, really close game series. was really close. Alright. Pretty sick. That was fun. Yeah, that it was, was really fun. fun. Yeah. yeah, all the games were really close. Yeah. It was a nice costume with you, man. Yeah. It was really awesome. It was awesome. We should do it again. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, man. Uh, sorry, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, I can stay, it's okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. All right, so awesome. So we're going to be back in uh, about 10 minutes. That's yeah, right. five to 10 yeah. minutes break. Five to 10 minutes and uh, take a break and we're going to cast the next gra next game of uh, Group C. Which, which, which is the game? Do you know which game is the next? Hmm. Okay. Saleh versus Salesh. First game of Group C. Okay. All right. See you guys soon. Right. See ya.